The finalists in the landscape construction category are Timberline Landscaping for Panorama Park. Timberline Landscaping served as the general contractor on the renovation of Panorama Park, located in southeastern part of Colorado Springs. This was the largest park renovation in the history of the city. The existing park could hardly be considered a park with its lack of amenities and general upkeep. It was flat, sandy, and full of weeds. That area of the city did not have a great option for captivating and having an accessible park. Establishing grates was challenging due to the proposed contours designed to minimize export material from the site. This required Timberline to stay on top of stormwater management and sediment control due to the weather's effect on the grades. Traffic control was also a challenge due to the park's location. This was in a neighborhood right next to a school. Space and timing were other major issues that Timberline faced, including coordinating multiple art installations, subcontractors competing for space to complete their portions, and phase scheduling of tasks to meet the deadlines. Additional challenges including accommodating more stakeholder input and involvement due to the community-driven nature of the project. Materials and price were given an issue since this project was constructed in 2021. This was still in pandemic times. The final result is a wonderful, much needed asset to the local community that can be enjoyed by all for years to come. Designscapes Colorado for Dickens Farm Nature Area. The Dickens Farm area saw catastrophic flooding in 2013, and the main goal of this project was to reclaim the affected area and reuse materials deposited there from the storm. The vision was to integrate the debris into a natural play area where people could freely use the space without interrupting the natural balance. Challenges with this project were trying to create park and play elements from existing fallen lots into stable, accessible, entertaining play elements. Designscapes Colorado had to sift through tons of rock and fallen lots to hand select those that could be reused for play features. The main play element was a fallen tree on the east end of the park that had to be designed around. It was too large to move. Some remaining wood debris was chipped and used as mulch. Other debris such as boulders and cobble were used for the sensory path and main playground. Seeding and maintaining the seed in those areas to be weed free was very difficult. And several of the large trees were cut in half and used as benches. Land Tech Contractors for Central 70 Cover Park. The Central 70 Cover Park was part of the Central 70 Interstate Expansion Project. The goal of the design and implementation was to provide a quality public park that would unite the Swansea, Illyria, and Globeville neighborhoods after being separated by the I-70 Highway Viaduct for over 50 years. The park is nearly five acres and is made up of a synthetic turf soccer field, a playground, splash pad play area, picnic structures, stage and event lawn, and many, many landscape plantings. The cast-in-place concrete planting beds were filled with over 5,000 cubic yards of lightweight imported root garden soil. The landscape plantings consisted of over 180 trees and 12,000 perennials and shrubs. The park was built on top of a bridge structure and required a roof garden system that consisted of geofoam fill, drainage board, lightweight soils, welded HDPE irrigation system, and a subsurface tree anchoring system. Project coordination was a large challenge. Multiple construction trades, tight working spaces, and a condensed project schedule meant that pre-planning and on-site coordination were a priority. Daily subcontractor meetings help workflow between all the trades. Due to a limited work area on the project site, materials needed to be staged off-site in a holding yard, allowing for on-time deliveries for the materials as they could be installed. Singing Hills Landscape for Modern on Monaco. This residential construction project addressed the client's need for a new landscape and outdoor living area that was an extension of their newly remodeled house. The main element of the project was the client's desire for a large hot tub that would convert to a pool for their young daughter. 
The clients found a product that was manufactured in New Hampshire, a combination plunge pool and hot tub, the first of its kind to be installed in Colorado. One major challenge with this project was that Singing Hills had not previously installed the pool themselves. They shipped the 22,000 pound precast fully tiled pool across the country and installed it. However, space on the site was tight and it did not allow for the easy crane access, but they were able to get safely get a crane into the backyard. They applied for and got a pool license and made sure that the plumbing, heater, filter, and pumps were all installed correctly. They also added an auto cover after the pool was installed. Additional elements included a custom fabricated driveway gate, new horizontal fence, patios, walkways, outdoor kitchen, garden areas, and an extensive landscape lighting program to create a beautiful space in tight quarters.